Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulullah. We continue reading from Imam Ghazali's Jawahir Qur'an, the Jews of the Qur'an. We have reached Surat Al-Dhariyat. And Imam Ghazali uh, selected seven verses from the Surah, verses uh, 22-23 uh, and verses 47-49. We um, shall begin with the beginning of the surah, inshallah, and try to uh, see the uh, themes that we uh, have here. The uh, surah begins by uh, an oath that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, and only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can make an oath with uh, his parts of his uh, creation if we take oath uh, only we take oath by Allah by God and that does not mean that we should uh, uh, that is uh, that becomes customary some people take oath all the time that does not make you more trans trustworthy uh, either you are known to be trustworthy or not uh, but an oath say that uh, that you are in a, in a, if you end up in a court and you you have to take the oath that's a different story. That's uh, that's the uh, practically a, a prohibition to uh, to be casual about mentioning the name of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So uh, by the winds scattering dust with the riyati darwa. By the clouds loaded with rain, فالحاملات وقرة, and the ships gliding with ease, and the angels administering affairs by Allah's command, فالجاريات يسرا, فالمقسمات أمرا, the response uh, to the uh, because uh, after the قسم after the uh, oath. Uh, there is uh, a need for uh, an answer, if you uh, if you will, for uh, why this uh, why this oath uh, took place, uh, and the answer is uh, indeed what you are promised is true. What you are promised is true. The uh, the end of this life, the hereafter. The day of judgment, uh, paradise and hellfire. All, all of these are part of what we are promised, and much more. And not only that, and the judgment will certainly come to pass. And then again, another oath, and by the heavens, in their marvelous design. This is this is where I would stop for a uh, a second, and I would uh, say the uh, the uh, translation of that al hubuk into a marvelous design. Of course, it's a marvelous design. Uh, that that goes without saying. There's something extremely uh, remarkable, wondrous, uh, wonderful, an amazing thing. Uh, this university, uh, even in your wildest imagination, you cannot even have a, 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 an overall picture of everything in the uh, universe. Uh, probably even astrophysicists, uh, uh, it will be difficult for them to have a, a real picture. And they are still discovering parts of the universe. I think that al uh, uh we have to go back to the etymology of the word uh, habaka, yahbiku. Uh, while while the notion of uh, perfecting things, making them beautiful, they are all uh, uh, part of the picture. But the I think the uh, uh, the uh, habaka is like. Uh, Knitting things together, 
Okay. I think this is very, uh, very important. Uh, that there are intertwined relations. And Habakkuk, in terms of uh, tailoring, in terms of uh, weaving, in terms of uh, is uh, is other than the uh, the Habka itself could be beautiful, but it's about really uh, tying things uh, together. Uh, we might say it's a, a needlework. If you uh, some people add that it's uh, uh, that al hubuk about describing the uh, the uh, the sky that it's uh, uh, it's a place where many paths uh, that al turq out go back to uh, knitting um, to pulling together uh, things materially uh, why because the universe is, in fact, knitted together. You might you might just think about it like this: how uh, our relationship, the objects on Earth, on the surface of the Earth, they are pulled uh, towards its center uh, by the, you know gravitational forces. Uh, if you jump, uh, no matter how high you jump, you you know you just you have to uh, go back. To the surface of the earth by the uh, force of gravity to fly you need um, a force greater than the force of uh, gravity uh, to stay in orbit uh, without fall there's an area where you can uh, so you are not you are still influenced by gravity but you are not falling back to uh, to earth our uh, own globe our own blue planet is pulled around the sun by gravitational forces of the sun and it seems that it is kept in place by the other massive uh, giant um, uh, planets and uh, our solar system is uh, um, subject to the gravitational forces of the uh, our galaxy the milky way uh, and these galaxies are all uh, uh, pulled together, especially uh, when they are grouped. When you talk about the local group, when, for example, our own galaxy, the Milky Way, is part of a local group. And there is a great gravitational force uh, is, that is uh, working at work. Uh, between us and the uh, Andromedia, uh, you know, the galaxy next door, if you will. And uh, the uh, the speed, I think it's 670,000 miles per hour coming in our direction, Andromedia. We are on a collision course that might take place. That's scientific prediction in five billion uh, years. That's not the issue here. The issue is uh, that the uh, was that the that uh, that the universe is knitted uh, together. You talk about gravitational force. You talk about dark matter. Uh, so. Uh, Rather than only saying marvelous, uh, uh, I think it's uh, uh, it's about uh, this kind of uh, uh, that's that would explain it a little bit more. Wallahu alam. So samai that al a an oath, and the answer or the statement right after. Surely you are lost in conflicting views regarding the truth. إِنَّكُمْ لَفِي قَوْلٍ مُخْتَلِفٍ يُؤْفَكُ عَنْهُ مَنْ أُفِكُ Only those destined to be deluded are turned away from it. Condemned are the liars. قُتِلَ الْخَرَّاسٌ Those who are steeped in ignorance 
totally heedless. Yes, of course, they ask more. This is this is this is not the same like the companion who asked the Prophet وسلم, about the day of judgment. Uh, here it's it's a mocking question, like you know, just bring it, uh, bring it uh, on us if if it's real in the sense. When is the day of judgment? Uh, that's sarcasm. That's um, a mocking question. It's not uh, asking good faith. What is asking good faith is the uh, the companion who asked the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He asked him, when is the hour? And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there's a very famous uh, hadith narrated by uh, Al-Bukhari and Muslim. A slight difference in the uh, text between both. And the response of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was, ma laha? What did you pray? What did you prepare for it? You ask about the time and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked about, are you prepared? Are you preparing? Are you doing, a, you know, good deeds? Are you fulfilling your uh, role? The uh, the companion said, I did not, uh, you know, prepare much prayer or fasting or uh, charity, meaning not much extra uh, supergatory uh, prayers. So he would pray the five daily prayers. He would fast Ramadan. He would give zakah. But it's, uh, you know, it's not much in terms of uh, extra uh, uh, worship. But uh, what he did prepare, he said, وَلَكِنِّي أُحِبُّ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهِ قَالَ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ أَنْتَ مَعَ مَنْ أَحْبَبْتَ وَلَكِنِّي أُحِبُّ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهِ So what did he prepare? He prepared his love. I, he said, I love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I love his messenger. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam responded by saying, you are with whom you love and this is beautiful so so the there's a big difference between uh, a muslim uh, um, first of all nobody knows this is you know from the hadith of uh, sayyidina jibril alayhi salam uh, when he showed up in you know spotless uh, uh, you know white clothing um, not the companions did not see any trace of traveling and also he's not one of them he's not he's not known to them and he came very close to the prophet وسلم, leaned his knees against his knees he put his hands on uh, uh on his knees on his thighs on uh on his knees and uh, the pronoun does not uh, um, you know clearly Indicate whether it's the whether these are the uh, legs of uh, the archangel uh, Gabriel, the spirit of the uh, Holy Holy Spirit, if you will, uh, or that or these of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Of course, the angels when they show up, uh, when they meet with people, they show up uh, usually in anthropomorphic form. Uh, so the Jibya uh, Sallam as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam about Islam, about uh, Iman, about Ihsan, but he also asked him other questions, including the hour. And the answer of the Prophet ﷺ was very unique. All the, all, all the time when the Prophet ﷺ would answer the question and the uh, Gabriel Alayhi would say, you are right. Uh, and the companions would, uh, they found this very uh, intriguing. He would ask question and then he would confirm the answer. And about the hour, the meaning the day of judgment the prophet uh, said neither the questioner though nor the questioned like neither uh sayyidina jibi salam nor the prophet وسلم, knows the answer ultimately after he left the prophet informed him about the uh, identity of this person and he said that uh, he came to teach you your religion so it's possible to uh it's possible to uh, ask uh, the question, but uh, nobody knows. This is to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ilm is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So those, uh, you know, non-believers, uh, polytheists, uh, they were uh, sarcastic about uh, when is this day of judgment. 
it is the day the answer it is the day they will be tormented over the fire they will be told taste your torment this is what you saw to hasten and they asked about the day of judgment to be brought on them on the other hand those believers those righteous uh, the righteous will be amid gardens and springs joyful receiving what their lord will grant them before this reward they were truly good doers good doers uh, excellent doers uh, in this meaning in this world meaning in this world they did uh, beautiful things acts of worship uh, so what did they do uh, some of the uh, attributes of those uh, righteous uh, believers they used to sleep only little in the night and pray for forgiveness before dawn and in their wealth there was a right rightful share fulfilled for the bigger and the poor uh, so they would not uh, say no uh, to those who uh, ask for uh, charity it doesn't mean that uh, when you see uh, uh, professional beggars who are known uh, to be so uh, you'll be uh, naive enough to uh, to give them time and again like this lady in, in Ramallah who was found to have several cars and etc there are of al ayat al and there are countless and this is the first verse that Imam Ghazali chose uh, amongst the Jews the seven Jews of al ayat al there are countless signs on earth for those with sure faith and there are within yourselves can you not see uh, what would you like to look at you'd like to look at the universe and look at the brain of the human being and see the map of the neurons the 86 billion neurons the narrative used to be 100 and uh, a scientist from latin america took the uh, brains of four brains of men they would have they donated of course this before their death and uh, of course she uh, made uh, a homogeneous uh, liquid from these four brains and uh, she calculated the number of uh, neurons and she found that it was 86 rather 100 billion that's that's scientifically wonderful what is uh, not scientific scientifically wonderful is that she subscribed to pseudoscience when she said that the reason for this uh, gap between us and gorillas and chimps and monkeys is that uh, uh, human beings discovered uh, cooked food like cook how to cook food and if this were true then giving gorillas uh, cooked food would uh, change their uh, it would add some would add some well, practically almost some 70 billion neurons to their brains if they consume cooked food um, which is absolutely it's a fairy tale it is pseudoscience that's not science at all because uh, if you give gorillas uh, cooked food day and night uh, because she said also cooked food meant higher calories does she realize uh, you know how much a silverback gorilla uh, consume every day in terms of calories and uh, imagine if we could give uh, that much uh, uh, calories to gorillas do you think that their their brains would uh, become like human beings with 86 billion uh, neurons and look at those human beings now it's, it's a new uh, fashion a new trend uh, eating grow uh, no cooked food would they regress back to uh, be like gorillas with uh, or chimps with uh, uh, a small number of course still millions of uh, neurons but compared to human beings 
this is what disturbs is that those scientists mix uh, pseudoscience, fairy tale, um, um, more or less uh, very, uh, very naive indeed. It doesn't sound scientific at all. So, amongst ourselves in the universe, there are uh, signs. Uh, there are signs in the revealed book. There are signs in the universe. There are signs within ourselves. In heavens is your sustenance and whatever you are promised. That could be um, a reference, of course, to, uh, to water, but also it could be like uh, your sustenance is decreed. Uh, you still need to acquire, need to put effort then by the Lord of uh, heaven and earth, all this is certainly as true as the fact that you can speak. The uh, next is there is a story. These are not amongst the, uh, the selected uh, Jews, but the story of Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam, Prophet Abraham. When the guests uh, pass by, uh, by him, by his tent, and uh, the uh, um, he arranged quickly uh, for a fat uh, uh, calf to be, uh, of course, uh, roasted, cooked, and uh, he, when he brought the uh, calf uh, closer to them to eat, they did not. They refrained from eating, and he did not feel good about it. He was afraid, and uh, they they comforted him. Ultimately, they revealed, uh, you know, what they were about in a different uh, uh, context. He. Uh, uh, in both cases, they would, uh, in, even in this story, uh, they were sent to the people of uh, Lut, uh, Sayyidina Lut, Islam, Prophet Lot, to the, uh, biblically, the narrative would be about Sodom and Gomorrah, and it's about uh, homosexuality. They were uh, on their way to uh, punish those, uh, those people. But uh, there's a, you know, in all this uh, story of uh, punishment that people brought, there is like a, uh, a part of uh, a, like a verse that quickly, almost like in, in the between the hospitality, the uh, roasted uh, calf, and the uh, their uh, the details of the punishment of the people. Brought, there is one verse that says, and then his wife, meaning Sarah, alayhi salam. Uh, came forward with a cry clasping her forehead uh, because he uh, because he uh, he was told after they comforted him and they told him not to be afraid they told him that he, he will have uh, a son a knowledgeable son of a sharub gulam and alim sayyidna ismail uh, salam was described in the quran as uh, halim patient and sayyidna uh, then Ishaq uh, was well, is described as uh, Alim. And this is why Sarah, uh, both of them were old, but it's about the um, his wife, it's about his, uh, his wife Sarah, because she said directly about herself, uh, being astonished by this news, وقالت فصكت وجه فأقبت امرأته في صرة فصكت وجهها وقالت عجوز عقيم. Then his wife came forward with a cry, clasping her forehead in astonishment, exclaiming, "A baby!" Uh, like that she did not say a baby, but obviously when she said عجوز عقيم, an old woman. Like the issue is. A baby for a barren old woman. They they said that this is exactly what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said. This is the uh, decree of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. They replied, "Such has your Lord decreed." 
He is truly the all-wise, all-knowing. Uh, in a different context, we have the news that uh, of Ishaq, Wara Ishaq, Yaqub. So the uh, good omen came in double. Not only uh, Ishaq will be granted to this family, they already had Ismail a.s. In the biblical narrative, Ismail was 14 years old already. And Ishaq will have a child of his own whose name is Yaqub, Jacob. Meaning, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed for this family that there will be a son, there will be a grandson. And why this is important? It, it means that there could be no test of sacrifice with Ishaq alayhi salam. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guaranteed that he will uh, become an adult, a man, get married and have a child of his own, the grandchild of Ibrahim alayhi salam. You cannot be uh, you cannot be tested with a child that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guaranteed that he will grow old to become a man. The uh, the other th- verses, other three verses, uh, 47 to 49, uh, they are extremely um, beautiful in the sense of uh, the reference to uh, what is what has only been known in the scientific um, to the scientific community since 1920 20s would be more accurate this is uh, after uh, having the hubble the uh, telescope that has an orbit uh, around the uh, the earth the uh, the uh, discovering that the uh, galaxies uh, were moving, uh, meaning that the universe uh, was uh, expanding. And the uh, the further the galaxy uh, is, the faster uh, it is. And it's an amazing, uh, an amazing thing. And we build the universe with great might. And we are certainly expanding it. This expansion, again, is known to the scientific community only in the 1920s. Uh, Hubble was a scientist himself, and the um, telescope was named after Edwin Hubble, I think. Uh, so, where did the Prophet Muhammad get the uh, knowledge about the universe being expanded? So, uh, almost uh, almost 1,300 uh, years between revelation of the Qur'an and knowledge of the, the scientific knowledge. Uh, we don't need confirmation uh, for our belief, but the idea is, ultimately, yes, we are. Uh, invited to ponder upon the universe and this is the right thing um, extremely beautiful so think about uh, the uh, the sky the universe being described as being that al hubuk and think about being uh, expanded and uh, with uh, different uh, speeds based on the distance and knowing what we know today through the scientific community that uh, uh, dozens of uh, galaxies form they are clustered together they belong to uh, groups our milky way belongs to the local uh, group i assume that local because we are part we are part of it so the universe is being expanded the earth uh, as verse 48 as for the earth we spread it out how superbly did we smooth it out and the last verse women kulishain khalaqna zawjan la'allakum tadhakkarun and we uh, created pairs of all things so perhaps you would be mindful uh, so uh, the uh, material world the cosmos our uh, home our earth the way it has been uh, fashioned 
and then the uh, physics becoming bio, including us. We have been created in uh, in pairs, ultimately inviting us to uh, to be mindful. But the the pairs could also be not only the male and female, uh, the um, pairs like uh, day and night, like uh, heat and cold, light and darkness, etc. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A'la wa a'lam. The uh, next um, surah, inshallah, will be surah al najm And there are eight verses uh, that Imam Ghazali selected from the surah until then. Insha'Allah, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika, shadu Allah ilayhi wa sallam, wa alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.